students in a previous video we solved the sums of distance and time today we are going to solve the sums based on fish marking students have you seen the fish market in fish market different types of fish are available and sold at different price by different fishermen today we are going to solve the sum on fish market so now let's begin practice time 3 read the following paragraph carefully and answer the given question mini is selling sardines fish for rupees 40 a kg gracy is selling sword fish for rupees 60 a kg floramma sells prawn for rupees 150 a kg karuthamma sells squid for rupees 50 a kg fazila has a king fish which weighs 8 kg and she will sell the whole for rupees 1200 student read this paragraph very carefully and understand it it will be very helpful to you in solving each and every question by reading this paragraph it becomes quite clear that mini is selling 1 kg sardine at rupees 40 gracy is selling 1 kg swordfish for rupees 60 floramma sells 1 kg prawns for rupees 150 karuthamma sells 1 kg squid for rupees 50 fazila has 8 kg kingfish and she will sell 8 kg kingfish for rupees 1200 now let's read question number 1 at what price per kg did fazila sell the kingfish in this question we have to find out the selling price of 1 kg kingfish By reading the paragraph, it is clear that Fazila is having eight kilogram kingfish, and the selling price of eight kilogram kingfish is rupees twelve hundred. But we have to find out the selling price of just one kilogram kingfish. To find out the correct answer, we will write down the statement. When we write down the statement. we come to know that either we have to multiply or divide so let's write down the statement and solve question number 1 8 kg rupees 1200 so 1 kg how much by cross multiplying we will get 1200 multiplied by 1 divided by 8 which is equal to 1200 divided by 8 is equal to rupees 150 for 1 kg therefore we can say that fazila sell the king fish at rupees 150 per kg floramma has sold 10 kg prawns how much money did she get for that In this question we have to find out the selling price of 10 kg prawns from the given paragraph we come to know that the selling price of 1 kg prawn is rupees 150 so to find out the selling price of 10 kg prawns we will write down the statement student we will write down the statement in each and every sum so let's write down the statement and solve question number 2 1 kg rupees 150 so 10 kg how much by cross multiplying we will get 150 multiplied by 10 divided by 1 which is equal to rupees 1500 for 10 kg prawns now let's see question number 3 and try to understand it 
Gracie sold 6 kg swordfish. Minnie has earned as much money as Gracie. How many kg of sardines did Minnie sell? Students, in this question, there are two sub-questions. And the answer of second question is totally dependent on the solution of first question. So be very careful in calculation. Here in this sum, first we will solve the first question for Gracie and then we will solve the second question for Mini. In the first sentence, it is given to us that Gracie sold 6 kg swordfish. So let's find out the selling price of 6 kg swordfish for Gracie. 1 kg rupees 60. So 6 kg how much? By, by cross multiplying we get 60 multiplied by 6 divided by 1 which is equal to rupees 360 for 6 kg. Now again Read the question from the second sentence to solve the second question for Mini. In the second question, it is given to us that Mini has earned as much money as Gracie. It means that whatever the amount Gracie earned, the same amount is also earned by Mini. We found out that Gracie earned rupees. 360. So, Mimi also earned rupees 360. Now, in the third sentence, it is given to us that how many kilograms of sardine did Mimi sell? It means that how much amount or quantity of sardine fish sold by Mimi. So, let's solve for Mimi. Rupees 40. 1 kilogram. Therefore, rupees 360, how much? By cross multiplying, we will get 360 multiplied by 1 divided by 40, which is equal to 360 divided by 40 is equal to 9 kilogram. Dividing 360 divided by 40 which is equal to 9 kilogram. Students, solve the practice work by yourself. Thank you and have a nice day.